The Berlin Brandenburg Academy of Sciences and Humanities German, Berlin Brandenburgische Akademie der Wissenschaften, abbreviated BBAW, is the official academic society for the natural sciences and humanities for the German states of Berlin and Brandenburg. Housed in three locations in and around Berlin, Germany, the BBAW is the largest non university humanities research institute in the region. The BBAW was constituted in 1992 by formal treaty between the governments of Berlin and Brandenburg on the basis of several older academies, including the historic Prussian Academy of Sciences from 1700 and East Germany's Academy of Sciences of the German Democratic Republic from 1946. By this tradition, past members include the brothers Grimm, Wilhelm and Alexander von Humboldt, Lise Meitner, Theodore Mommsen, Albert Einstein, and Max Planck. Today the BBAW operates as a public law corporation under the auspices of the German National Academy of Sciences, and has over 300 fellows and 250 additional staff members. Its elected scientific membership has included 78 Nobel laureates. The BBAW operates several subsidiary research centers. Projects include compiling large dictionaries, editing texts from ancient, medieval, and modern history, and editing the classical literature from diverse fields. Notable examples include Inscriptiona Graeci, the Corpus Inscriptionum Latinarum, the German Dictionary German, Deutsches Waterbuch, the Ancient Egyptian Dictionary Waterbuch, the Bibliography of Works by Alexander von Humboldt, and a scholarly edition of the works of Ludwig Feuerbach. History Topic: Society of Sciences, 1700 to 52. The roots of the BBAW can be traced to the Society of Sciences of the Elector of Brandenburg (German: Kurfürstlich Brandenburgische Societat der Wissenschaften), founded in 1700 by Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz under the patronage of Frederick I of Prussia. The institution was created on the principle of uniting the natural sciences and the humanities, making it a prototype for other academies across Europe. The rise of the field of physics can be genealogically traced to this period of the academy, as well as modern European mathematics. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Royal Academy 1752 to 1918. Under Frederick the Great, an enthusiastic patron, the Academy rose to even wider significance. In 1752 it merged with the Nouvelle Société Littéraire to form the Royal Academy of Sciences German, Konnelische Akademie der Wissenschaften. The new Academy attracted prominent scientists and philosophers, including Immanuel Kant, who were able to publish writings which would have been censored elsewhere in Europe. While it was an important centre in the Age of Enlightenment, due to its royal patronage the Academy did not enjoy complete freedom. Political writings in its proceedings throughout the 18th century argued the merits of monarchies over republics, warned against the French Revolution, and defended Prussia against accusations that it was despotic. In the 19th century the von Humboldt brothers reorganised the Academy along more open lines. Prominent critical thinkers such as Theodore Mommsen, Friedrich Wilhelm Joseph Schelling, Friedrich Schleiermacher were all active members for many decades. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Prussian Academy 1918 to 33. With the collapse of the German monarchy in 1918, the Royal Academy was renamed the Prussian Academy of Sciences German, Prewitcher Akademie der Wissenschaften. During this period it rose to international fame and its members included top academics in their fields such as Albert Einstein, Max Planck, Hermann Diels, and Ernst Bloch. Third Reich 1933 During the Nazi period, as with all institutions across Germany, the Academy became subject to the "...law for the restoration of the professional civil service." 
As a result, Jewish employees and political opponents were expelled. Albert Einstein resigned in 1933 before he could be expelled and Max Planck, the Academy's president, was coerced to publicly support nationalist socialism. However, despite initial resistance, over time the Academy and many of its scientists became willing tools of the Nazis. New statutes in 1938 reorganized the Academy according to the Führer principle, causing Planck to resign his presidency in protest. The mathematician Theodor Wahlen, proponent of the anti-Semitic Deutsche Mathematik movement, became its president. By war's end the Academy's reputation was destroyed and many of its prominent scientists were stigmatized. Planck died in 1947. <laughs> Modern history 1946 -present. After World War II, what remained of the Academy wound up in the Soviet zone of occupation. Reopened by the Russians in 1946 as the German Academy of Sciences at Berlin German, Deutsche Akademie der Wissenschaften zu Berlin, it moved to the former Prussian Maritime Trade Company building on the Gendarmenmarkt in 1949. The Academy was renamed the Academy of Sciences of the German Democratic Republic German, Akademie der Wissenschaften der DDR or ADW in 1972, by which time it had over 400 members and 24,000 employees. After German reunification the ADW was dissolved in December 1991 due to its controversial role in support of the East German regime. In August 1992, the BBAW was reconstituted by interstate treaty between the Landtags of Berlin and Brandenburg using the original model of the old Prussian Academy. Today its headquarters are located at the former ADW building, with special projects conducted at the old Prussian Academy on the Unter den Linden. It also has a third office in Potsdam. Research Topic Research Projects The Academy sponsors a variety of interdisciplinary, long term, and externally funded projects. These include large German and foreign language dictionaries, historical critical publications of ancient, medieval, and modern texts, and editing and interpreting the classical literature by scholars from diverse academic fields. In 2012 the BBAW was home to 47 major projects, the most notable include Alexander von Humboldt Research Project German, Alexander von Humboldt Forschung, a research initiative is focused on Alexander von Humboldt's correspondence and diaries written during his famous journey to America 1799 Corpus Inscriptionum Latinarum The Dictionary of Ancient Egyptian German, Alt-Egyptisches Waterbuch, a 3,000-year corpus publicly available online and continuously updated. The German Dictionary German, Deutsches Waterbuch, begun by the Brothers Grimm The Goethe Dictionary German, Goethe Waterbuch, a conceptual history project that interprets the works of Goethe, containing 3. 2 million quotations and 93,000 headwords Inscriptioner Graeci, collects and edits all of Europe's ancient Greek inscriptions The complete works of Marx and Engels German, Marx Engels Gesamtausgabe Monumenta Germaniae Historica, publishes source materials for the constitutional history of the Holy Roman Empire from the 14th century Schleimacher, critical edition of the complete works German, Schleimacher, Kritische Gesamtausgabe, the official edition of Friedrich Schleimacher's correspondence has been edited by the BBAW since 1979. Research centers. The Academy has established a number of research centers over time, including centers for basic research, language and history. Each seeks to pool expertise from various fields with the goal of improving cooperation between university and non-university institutions and stimulating regional and international research innovation. 
In 2012 the BBAW operated three such centers Zentrum Grundlagenforschung Alter Welt, a center for research of primary sources of the ancient world Zentrum Prüwen Berlin, the Prussia Berlin Research Center, an amalgamation of projects on the history and culture of Prussia and Berlin Zentrum Sprache, the Language Research Center Topic. Facilities and funding The BBAW operates at three locations in and around Berlin Headquarters Jägerstrasse 22 2,310,117 Berlin Former Prussian Academy of Sciences Building Gunter den Linden 810,117 Berlin New Building am Neuen Markt 814,467 Potsdam funding for the Academy comes primarily from the states of Berlin and Brandenburg, with a significant portion of its research supported by the federal and state governments of Germany. <laughs> Salon Sophie Charlotte The Salon Sophie Charlotte is a public evening event organized by the BBAW bringing together leading academics and the general public. Being selected as an academic panelist or speaker is considered highly prestigious. The number of visitors increased over the years to up to 3,000 visitors 2017, including academics, public intellectuals and politicians such as Chancellor Angela Merkel. Eponym of the Salon is Sophia Charlotte of Hanover 1668 queen consort in Prussia as wife of King Frederick I, who initiated, together with Gottfried Wilhelm Leibniz, the founding of the Scientific Academy in Berlin in 1700. On her estate Leitzo Charlottenburg near Berlin maintained Sophie Charlotte, who had a great passion for philosophy, free-spirited salons, which formed a counter-world to strict Prussia etiquette as a social meeting place for discussions, readings or musical events. The event takes place in BBAW's Academy building at Berlin's Gendarmenmarkt. Every year it is organized with a different thematic focus. 2006 kickoff Auf Takt wir installed tongue 2007 Europe in the Middle East the Middle East in Europe Europa im Nahen Osten der NAHE Osten in Europa 2008 do you know Prussia really Kennen Sie Prüwen Wirklich 2009 the evolution welcomes your children die evolution empfängt ihre Kinder 2010 escape from the amazement Flucht vor dem Stornen 2011, Reciprocity. Patrons and donors of the sciences and the arts Gegenlieber. Goner und Geber der Wissenschaften und der Kunst 2012, Artifacts. Knowledge is art, art is knowledge Artifact. Wissen ist Kunst, Kunst ist Wissen 2013, The Science and the Love Die Wissenschaft und die Liebe 2014, Europe, a place of the future Europa, ein Zukunftsort 2015, put in the light ins Licht 2016, do we live in the best of all possible worlds? Leben wir in der besten alle möglichen Welten 2017, rebellions, revolutions or reforms. Rebellionen, revolutionen oder reformen 2018, language sprash. Topic. Medals, prizes and lectures The Academy bestows a number of scientific medals and awards and is host to prestigious lectures. Topic. Medals Helmholtz Medal, awarded biennially to individuals who have made significant academic contributions to the humanities, social sciences, natural sciences, or medicine. It was first awarded on 2 June 1892 to the physiologist Emile du Bois Raymond, physicist Lord Kelvin, and mathematician Karl Weierstra. Leibniz Medal, awarded to individuals or groups for special services in support of scientific research. 
It was first awarded to the Berlin art collector James Simon, patron of archaeological excavations and museums. Topic: <laughs> Prizes. Academy Prize, an annual prize awarded for outstanding scientific achievement in any disciplinary field. It is awarded at the Academy's Leibniz Day celebration in the summer and includes €50,000. Prize of the Academy endowed by the Commerzbank Foundation, awarded biennially for outstanding scientific achievement in the area of research in legal and economic principles. It includes €30,000 is conferred at a joint ceremonial session of the Academy and the Commerzbank Foundation. Eva and Klaus Grohe Prize of the Academy, awarded biennially for outstanding scientific achievement by German scientists with a doctorate in the area of infectious diseases. The prize includes €20,000 and is conferred at the Academy's annual Einstein Day celebration. Prize of the Academy endowed by the Monika Kutzner Foundation, awarded annually for outstanding scientific achievement in the area of cancer research. It includes €10,000 and is conferred at the Academy's annual Einstein Day celebration. Prize of the Academy endowed by the Peregrinus Foundation, awarded biennially for outstanding achievements by scholars from Eastern and Southeastern Europe. It includes €5,100 and is conferred at the Academy's annual Einstein Day celebration. Technical Scientific Prize, awarded for outstanding achievement in the engineering sciences by young engineers and scientists in research or industry. It includes €10,000 and is awarded at the Academy's annual Day of Engineering. Walter de Gruyter Prize, awarded biennially for outstanding achievement in a subject area covered by the publishing house Walter de Gruyter. It includes €7,500 and is preferably awarded to those who are young, relative to their achievements. Lisselot Richter Prize of the Leibniz Edition Potsdam, awarded biennially to senior school students in the province of Brandenburg and includes €1,000. Lectures Paul B. Balt's lecture, each year a leading international scientist is selected by the Academy to present a lecture which commemorates Paul Balt's backquote achievements in psychological research and his contributions to psychology. The lecture series is hosted by the Free University of Berlin, the Humboldt University of Berlin, the Technical University of Berlin and the University of Potsdam in collaboration with the Max Planck Institute for Human Development, and is supported by the Margaret M. and Paul B. Baltz Foundation. <laughs> Publications The Academy's proceedings have been variously titled throughout history Miscellanea Berlinensia Histoire de l'Académie royale des sciences et belles lettres Nouveau Memoirs de l'Académie royale Sammlung der Deutschen Abhandlungen Abhandlungen der Königlich Prewischen Akademie 1804 Today the BBAW's publications appear in a wide variety of established journals, as well as its own publications such as Jarbach, Berichter und Abhandlungen, Debatten and the journal Gegenwart. See also Open access in Germany